Hello and welcome back. Now some of you are probably remembering that I did post earlier this week that this was going to be a performance weekend. So without further ado, let's get down to performance. And right off the top of the list, we're going to look at a very simple one that has a potentially quite a large impact in the longer run. You won't notice it at first and in our particular example, it's not a big one, but it can make a difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly look at two different types of query against the same data structure. So the first query, which I'm going to do, and the second query, which I'm going to do. So both of these are going to run exactly the same with one subtle difference. Now. First of all, you can see that this ran incredibly fast and you're probably thinking, well, what was the difference? They both run fast. So we need to actually include the execution plan in order to be able to see the difference. So if we look at the execution plan, we can start to see a difference. So the costing difference here was the difference between a scan and a seek. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the difference between a scan and a seek, the subtle difference between them is how they look at data. So a scan has to load the objects into memory, then go through it in order to find it, whilst a seek knows where to start looking. So consequently, you get better performance from a seek. And as we can see, the costing here is a 57 versus a 43. Now with this small amount of data, it wasn't a dramatic difference, and the table we're looking at is relatively small. So we didn't notice the response times, but as we can see from the execution plan, there is a difference. And the larger those tables get, the more the difference would start to be. This is an example of how changing the syntax just marginally can impact the performance of your query quite dramatically. 